Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to view a summary of the Creator Graph series. Let's begin. So the goal in this series is to make a graph that we can use to display data to the player. It won't be able to display any values we give it, whilst having many features for how each data point should be represented. In the end, we're going to view a real use case of this very class being used in a commercial game in Battle Royale Tycoon. So first we're going to create the graph in the editor and set up the basic class as a line graph. We're going to create a background and anchor all the transforms so our graph has an origin on the lower left corner. Then set up the code to dynamically add dots for each point in our graph and lines connecting them, thereby creating a very simple line graph. Then we're going to add axis separators so we can easily see where each point is in our graph. We're also going to add labels so we can display what the X and Y axes represent. After that, we'll focus on scaling our graph so we can display any value. First add scaling on the Y axis and then on the X axis. With the line graph fully functioning, we're going to work on converting our graph into a bar chart. Since our code will be set up in a clean way, it will be very simple to change the visual representation. Then we're going to set up the code to be able to swap between different visual interfaces. We'll be able to show the same dataset using either a line graph or a bar chart, or we can also create a new class to fit any custom visualization we need. Using all of that, we will add buttons to manually modify our graph in runtime, adding buttons for changing the visual interface, how many values are visible and what they represent. Then we're going to create a simple tooltip so we can see the exact value of each data point. It's going to work both with a line graph and the bar chart visuals. In order to prepare the graph for updating, we're going to create a specific class to handle a single graph visual object. First, make it to handle the bar chart visual object, and then take care of the online graph visual object. With each visual object having its own class to handle how it works, we're then going to modify the graph class to add updating. We're going to make a function which can modify a single point in our graph without having to completely destroy and rebuild all the points, thereby improving performance. And finally, with all of that, we will have a completed class that we can use to display any value list we want. The last video covers a use case of the graph class being used in Battle Royale Tycoon. So you can pick up the game on Steam and see the class created in this series being used in a real final game. So that's the plan for the Create a Graph series. It's very feature rich and adapts to any value list you give it. The first video starts completely from scratch and each video after that covers one specific feature which add upon one another. And in the end, you can see the complete class being used in a real game. So go watch the playlist and begin learning right now. As always, you can download the project files and utilities for each video in the series from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.